Okay. Human beings are in the process of dramatically reshaping their Earth's ecosystems. As far back as the 19th century, some scientists have noted that the current era is de defined mainly by the impact of human activity. Now there is an um, emerging consensus among our Earth scientists that we have indeed entered a new period of geological time. The anthro the Anthropocene Epoch? Yeah, epoch, yeah. Okay. Uh, so human beings are in the process of dramatically reshaping the Earth's ecosystems. As far back as the 19th century, some scientists have noted that the current era is defined mainly by the impact of human activity. Now there is an emerging consensus among Earth scientists that we have indeed entered a new period of ge geological time, the Anthropocene Epoch. All right. Um, hmm. So there we have it. All right. So let's have you define the word consensus. So go ahead and look that up, please. Okay. And and I also want you to tell me whether it's a noun, an adjective, adverb, what whatever it is. Mm-hmm. A consensus is a general agreement. Right. Now, is it a is it a noun? Is it an it's adjective? A noun. It's a noun. Okay. So it's a general it's a general agreement. All right. I want you to write a sentence using the word consensus, please. Mm -hmm. Okay.
Yeah, I see you put something in the chat here. Let's take a look here. All right. So yeah, that that's a good sentence. Um, that does work. So it does work. Yeah, I mean, it, there's maybe a slightly better way to write it, but it is it is used correctly. So good job on that. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's go and keep reading here. Uh, let's go copy. All right, so more more reading. So whenever you're ready, if you want to uh, read this for us, please. Okay. Scientists who study the history of Earth usually divide geological time according to major changes to the biology and the climate of the Earth. For instance, the ancient Cambrian period, some uh, 500 million years ago, is distinguished by a sudden explosion in the diversity of life, including the emergence of the ancestors of many modern species. More recently, the Pisotene Epoch, which ended about 10,000 years ago, is notable for the glaciers that swept over much of the Earth. The new Anthropocene Epoch would be distinguished from all earlier times in Earth's history by the dramatic impacts of human activity on the Earth. All right. Okay, so I'm going to write a question here. This is like, this is like the, uh, like the, uh, uh like the, uh, uh, the uh, beginning of life long time back. All right. Um, so here is a question for you to the answer. How do scientists normally divide time periods? Hmm. Did I write it in the chat? Uh, yeah, that'd be good. Hmm.
Yeah. Go ahead and read line. Uh, well, yeah, right I'm the top almost there. there. I'm just, okay. I'm, I'm just trying to charge my computer. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to be, uh, I'm almost done with it. Okay. Okay. Okay, I wrote it down. Yeah. Take a look here. <laughs> That is correct. Good. All right. Very good. Mm -hmm. Can we take a little break? Sure. Well, well, how much time? For five minutes. Sure. I'll see you back at 738. Yeah.
All right, Sarish, let me know when you're back and we'll keep going here. Okay. All right, so let's grab another uh, another section of this reading. We'll do the same thing. We'll we'll read a little bit of it. We'll talk about it. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, so I'm going to make this as large as I can to fit in the screen. There we go. Okay, go ahead and read that whenever you're ready. Okay. Though earth science is a debate exactly when the Anthropocene uh, began, there is a there is a clear consensus that human changes to the environment are really extreme. For one of many life forms have become and are becoming extinct as a result of human activity. For this reason, some paleontologists argue that the human impacts the human impacts of the Anthropocene began at the end of the last ice age, around ten thousand years ago. The fossil records indicates that indicates that around that time, many large animals like woolly mammoths and giant sloths went extinct shortly after humans arrived in the ranges. Their sudden disappearance suggests that the habit, destruction, and overhunting by humans may have been con contributed to their demise. Indeed, many large animals like elephants and gorillas are in danger for those some same reasons today. All right, very good. Are there any words in there that you don't understand? Over hunting. Okay. Anything else? That's it. It's just over hunting. All right. Um, what line is that in? That's going to be in um, line 31. Okay. So what does it mean to hunt? Someone asks you or says, "Hey, do you want to go hunting?" Well, yeah, hunt. It's like where you try to like try to seek somebody. Uh, try to like you're trying to like uh, you're trying to like uh, find somebody and then just try to like um, do something about that guy. Okay, so over hunting is too much hunting. All right. So, how about the word endangered? What does that mean? I know endangered means it's where. Uh, I, it's where uh, species are um it's where species are um alone they're just um they're just um harmless it's not harmless um uh, endangered go ahead and look that one up for us please well i know what it is it's it, it, it's uh, it's where um anything is where anything uh, is is where anything just lives in only in their own biome uh, that's not really the definition the endangered has to do with the quantity of species or how close they are to extinction. Yeah, the risk of extinction. They're at the risk of extinction. Yes, that's exactly right. All right. What is a habitat? A habitat? Yes. It's a home. Okay, that's good enough. All right, let's look. Uh, let's grab another reading section here. Right, and uh, let me grab. There's a bit more I need to grab from the next. 
Well, I'll take that back. Um, all right. Oh boy, this didn't snip very well. That's okay. Um, what? This just it didn't snip very well. So I know this is a little bit weird, but go ahead and we'll read it. Scroll up here. Okay, go ahead and read uh, starting at the top there. Hmm. Okay. The pace of human and cause extinctions has only increased in the past several hundred years. The growth and spread of the human population is caused by the advances in severing technology in agriculture has led to over-exploitation of fragile ecosystems, introduction of invasive species, and pollution causing many extinctions. Uh, scientists have estimated the rate of extinction by studying the fossil record, monitoring exist existing species, and using statistical models to estimate the number of un undiscovered species that have been lost. Very good. Very good. All right. Any words in here that you do not understand? Over exploitation. Okay. What does it mean to exploit something? It's like where you're supposed to like search for something. Uh, think of it as like taking advantage. Like, like, uh, like where you're um, like. It's like where you're like um, just. Just um, looking around. It's to take advantage of. So, um, if you over exploit. That means you're really, really, really taking advantage of. Okay. How about the word fragile? What does fragile mean? Fragile? Yeah, yeah. fragile is where something is very expensive. Oh. And no, it's very, it's very like, uh, it's very like, well, it's like uh, whenever you break something, it's very worth costing money. It's like wherever it, it's going to be so very so it's, sharp. It's, it's very, where very, it's dangerous. It's where very it's very dangerous. It's breakable. Very breakable. I also think of it as delicate as a synonym. All right. Good job. We're going to stop there for today.